Welcome back to the Healthcare Clinical Research Specialist course here at Wake Tech. Uh, my name is Steve Pope, and this is going to be our final wrap up for the course. Um, I'm doing this video because obviously our class has been um, canceled due to uh, Hurricane Florence. So I just need to go over a couple of things uh, with you tonight. Um, first of all, your final exam, your exam three, um, will need to be completed by 11 p.m. on Wednesday, September 19th. Um, I will put that out on Moodle. I'll make it available for you. Um, I will turn off the uh, password because it won't be necessary uh, to have that. So you should be able to access that. I would like for you to get it completed before 11 p.m. Um, on Wednesday, September 19th. You will be receiving course certificates uh, for your completion. So if you would, if you would email to me your mailing address, your physical address, so that we can send that uh, to you, uh, you can just uh, email it to me, srpope um, at waketech.edu. Uh, and then your evaluations, if you'll look down at the bottom of Moodle, you'll see in the very last topic sec section um, a link to the course evaluations. We would like for you to to complete those, tell us what worked, what didn't work, uh, what you liked about the course, what you think we should improve. We're very eager to get those comments uh, back from you. And then finally, I'm going to talk a little bit about some resources that you need for the future as you're going out there. Many of you are going to be um, looking for jobs in the industry. Some of you already work in our industry and you're looking to move ahead. So we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, but I, I want to make you aware of those resources that are available to you um, as you move along. So we had a couple of guest speakers lined up for this evening, uh, but obviously we won't be hearing from them. I've posted their presentations out on Moodle, so I want you to take a look at those. And um, uh, so you're familiar with their content. Uh, we we're going to hear from uh, Carrie Nibelink, uh, Director of Clinical Operations, um, at PRA Health Sciences, and then also from Nick Siwi, Clinical Team Manager at PRA Health Sciences. Since many of you are going to be searching for your first job in our field once you complete this course, I've created a YouTube video that is going to act as a tutorial with some helpful tips for you to do that. So the title of my video is How to Land a Job in Clinical Research. You can find it at this YouTube link um, that you see in front of you. And I think that as you um, progress through that, I think it's about maybe 25 or 26 minutes uh, long, but I think it will really act as a good primer for you as you start your search with some things to help you get started with and to help you progress along the way and things to think about as you begin that process. A couple of organizations that I think you should be familiar with, and you've probably heard me talk about these in the past. The first one is the Association of Clinical Research Professionals, ACRP. I put their, um, their, their uh, uh, URL there. There is a local chapter of this organization that meets the second Monday of each month, and you can find uh, find that information out on the website. They also have a monthly um, professional journal that they produce that you can have access to. Um, I also recommend that you check out the Society for Clinical Research Professionals, or SOCRA as they're called. They also have a local chapter, and they meet the first Monday of each month here in the local area. And you can go to the website and see where the local meetings are. It does not cost you anything to go to the meetings. You do not need to be a member of those uh, groups to come out and participate in a meeting. In fact, I highly recommend that you come out for probably six months or so and meet, you know, meet some of the folks. It's a great chance for you to network with other people in our field and begin to build that professional network. So once again, you don't need to be a member, but please uh, look online and see when the next uh, meetings are going to be and plan to attend. I think you'll get a lot out of it. You'll learn a lot. Um, 
Slocra also has a professional journal as well. Uh, you know, if you join the organization, they'll send that to you. Um, but uh, it, it's a very good organization, and I think both of them will be very beneficial for you to participate in. Another resource for you is Applied Clinical Trials. This is a free resource for clinical research professionals. You can find it at the link that I've listed here. There is a free monthly magazine that you can get. Also, all of the content is available on the website. Um, if you go on there and you fill out a form, uh, they'll send you the magazine. Um, I think you'll find it to be very beneficial. The best thing about it is that it doesn't cost you a dime. So it's a very good resource for keeping track with news and, and trends going on in our industry. And I think that you'll like it. I also want to mention that we have a new course uh, here at Wake Tech. It's called Monitoring Clinical Trials. I'm teaching the course now. We just started about a month ago. And I'll be teaching another section of this course beginning in January. So if monitoring is something that you're interested in, that you want to learn more about, that maybe you think this is a, a career path that you might want to participate in or might want to, uh, might want to, uh, to get involved in, this would be a good class for you to take in order to learn what's involved in monitoring clinical trials. So certainly uh, check out the Wake Tech website for that, if you have any specific questions about it, you can send me an email. I'm the instructor, so uh, just send me an email if you have a, a couple of questions, and I'll be glad to answer those for you. Another resource that you might find very beneficial is a website called Outsourcing Pharma. Uh, once again, there's free content and news out there. I like to take a look at this website maybe once a week or so to kind of keep up with what's going on out there. You'll see some news articles about pharma companies or CROs uh, that's good to kind of keep track of. Uh, so this is a very good resource for keeping up with the news in our industry. And then I want to mention LinkedIn. Um, if you're going to be searching for work and you're going to be building a career, you need to have a profile on LinkedIn. I recommend that you do that as soon as possible. I also recommend that you sp spend a little money, probably 50 or $75, and get some professional photography to put out there on your LinkedIn profile. I see a lot of them out there. A lot of photographs are obviously made from cell phones or you know, uh, dash cams, laptop cameras, things like that. Um, and sometimes they don't always uh, portray the most professional uh, image. So I would highly recommend that you take a little time and, and spend a little bit of money on some, some, uh, uh, some professional photography. And while you're there on LinkedIn, please join the Wake Tech Clinical Research Group on, on LinkedIn. You can, you can uh, search on those letters just as you see those, that, that term. You'll find it on there. Um, I'm the leader of the group, so I'll recommend you for, for a group membership. Uh, but it's a good way to kind of keep track of what's going on uh, here at Wake Tech and kind of within our uh, Wake Tech community. So I think you'll find it to be uh, very beneficial. Then I like to show this wheel that shows the competency domains for the clinical research professional. This actually comes out of the Joint Task Force for Academic Programs in Clinical Research. So that's a consortium of people that represent the various academic programs around the country. I know a few of the people uh, that are on that are part of this task force. Um, some of the folks are, are over at Durham Tech because they have an academic program. UNC Wilmington, Campbell, um, George Washington, University and a few of the others from around the country. But what this shows you are areas that, as a clinical research professional, um, you need to develop your expertise. So, for example, you need to understand the scientific concepts that are associated with research design, and then ethics uh, and safety participation. We've talked about some of that um, in our class. Uh, medicines development and regulations. We've touched on some of the regulations 
regulations related to conducting clinical trials, but there are a lot of other uh, regulatory issues that are associated uh, with developing uh, new medicines. Um, clinical trials operations, that's an important component, and you're going to be very, uh, very involved in that if you get involved, if you get if you're to work for a CRO, for example. Um, study and site management, very key to uh, being successful. Data management and informatics, we've had quite a bit of that in our course. Uh, so the more of that you understand, the more deployable you're going to be in our industry. Number seven is leadership and professionalism. Uh, if you're going to progress in your career, you want to develop those leadership skills. <clears throat> and then finally, number eight, communication and teamwork. You know, that's very important to your success in your career, not only in our field, but in any field. So these are the various competency domains that I think everybody working in our industry needs to have some training in, needs to have some understanding and professional development in all eight of these areas. So finally, I'm disappointed that we're not going to be meeting together for our final class, but I do wish everybody a, a great future. And if there's anything that I can help you with, if you've got questions, if you just want my feedback on something, you know, please get in contact with me, send me an email, call my cell number, uh, send me a text message, you know, whatever you want. Um, I'm happy to, uh, to help any of you as you progress in your career. So it's great having you in the class. I hope that you learned a few things. Uh, please go online and complete your evaluations. Do get that final exam completed uh, by Wednesday. And I'm going to be posting some additional content out there uh, for everyone to participate in, uh, you know, in lieu of our having missed this final, this final class.